When I was 18 years old, I went to Cape Henry Bible School in England and was there for six months for their winter school. And part of the requirement was reading through the whole Bible. And even though I'd grown up in a Christian family and had was aware of most, you know, the, the main ideas in most of the books, it was a completely transformative thing for me. It did a wonderful thing in building my faith. Um, one of the greatest apologetics and defenses of the Christian faith is the Bible itself, just how extensive it is, written over such a wide span of, of both time and geography and authorship, and yet holds together in this incredible way. I think there's tremendous value in hearing God's Word read out loud, simply because for many generations it was the only way people heard it. There were so many generations when people just could not read, and so it was always an audible thing. And there's a tremendous value in continuing to understand it in that way. There's something very powerful about the scripture being read. I like to read something, but I find that I can concentrate it much better when I personally read it out loud or when I hear it being read to me. I guess I'd never really thought about an audio Bible in terms of me being involved in one when I was asked to do it. Um, I thought, well, as a, as a, as a wife and mum and, and as a singer, this is a really interesting thing. And I very quickly said yes. The Bible is full of lots of different types of literature, but there is a massive portion of it which is the telling of a story. And we all love to hear a story being told. I know with my four little girls, they're utterly engaged whenever we, I tell them a good story, and they like to hear the sound of my voice telling it. My older two are starting to read for themselves, but they still want me to read to them. There's something about that experience. My husband and I have been writing hymns for the last 20 years. And in writing hymns, we aim to fill each song as richly as we can with biblical truth. And of course, right in the center of the Bible, there is the hymn book, the Psalms. And so as a songwriter and as a singer, they have always informed what we think about, sing about, and write about. We live in a time where there are so many thoughts and everything, and social media has given just so many different people platforms to express these conversations, and it can be an awful lot of noise. And the importance of making God's voice the leading voice, the biggest voice, the greatest voice, for your whole life has never been more significant, I would say. I always feel a sense of any opportunity I would have to tell young people particularly, these years that you have as teenagers and in your early 20s, be filling yourselves up with the scriptures because you will need them. And they're the things that are going to not just keep us on the right path, but make us so incredibly fruitful in God's kingdom.